New at 1230, Patriot Prayer leader Joey Gibson has turned himself in to authorities. Gibson's lawyer confirmed Thursday his client is facing a felony charge of rioting in connection to a May Day brawl outside of a local bar and says that they learned of the charge through a malfunction on the district attorney's website. Fox 12's Amber Wilmarth joins us live from the Justice Center where Gibson made a public statement before turning himself in just about 30 minutes ago. Amber? Pete, that's right. Gibson stood right here when he addressed the media and he had several messages for us, but the main one that he wanted to get across was that he says he's never been violent at any of the protests that he's attended, including the one that this charge stems from. And here's another part of his message. Take a listen. We're not going to stand down to Mayor Wheeler, okay? We're not going to stand down to the, the corrupt charges that they're bringing on us. They refuse to charge Antifa. We need to ask that question. Gibson is accusing the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office of filing a politically motivated felony charge against him and says it is an attack on the First Amendment. Gibson's lawyer says the two learned Thursday morning Gibson's being accused of rioting a Class C felony charge. Despite repeated requests, the Multnomah County DA's office is refusing to confirm if it's filed the charge. A Portland police detective has confirmed with Fox 12, though, that there is an active arrest warrant. Gibson says this all stems from a brawl outside Cider Riot Brew Pub in Northeast Portland. Video Fox 12 obtained shows shoving, cursing, and spitting as opposing groups of protesters clashed. But things quickly escalate. Some involved used pepper spray. Police arrested five people in connection to the so-called riot and the bar's owner filed a million dollar lawsuit against Gibson. But Gibson's lawyer, who's also the Multnomah County GOP chair, tells Fox 12 by Oregon law, a felony riot charge requires proof of violent conduct. He says, although there are multiple videos of the events outside of Cider Riot, not one of them shows Gibson engaging in violent conduct. And Gibson did share a couple other messages when he was addressing the media, and those include that um, his message for tomorrow, he says he's encouraging people to show up, but also encouraging people to not break the law. And he's discussing those demonstrations that are planned for downtown Portland tomorrow. And his second message that he wanted to get out was that he's really uh, a fan or encouraging that no mask law. He says that could help with demonstrations. But again, he did turn himself in. He walked up these steps and into the Justice Center, which is where he he is now reporting live from the Multnomah County Justice Center, Amber Wilmarth, Fox 12, Oregon.